Welcome back to another episode of the Beyond the Wormhole series and Kerbal Space Program, where we're exploring some of the destinations in the Kakaobalo Planet Pack with stock parts in a wormhole. And so this is our rocket for today. We're sending a probe to a hot Jupiter in the Sunwork system. This is our rocket. We're using some of those European Space Agency parts. Uh, we just lifted off the pad there. And uh, this episode's going to be a little bit of a shorter one. Um, it's my finals week this week, and uh, I thought it'd be a good chance to check out the hot Jupiter that orbits closest to the star Sunork in the first system that you encounter beyond the wormhole in the Cacaobolo space program. This planet's called Seda, and it's, uh, it's what, what they would call a hot Jupiter in uh, the exoplanet business. Yeah, so it's kind of an interesting setup. Usually you see these gas giants kind of like further out in a solar system, like in the Kerbal system or in our own solar system. But um, when astronomers look out into space, um, they see these uh, gas giants kind of orbiting real close to their uh, parent stars, which uh, I think most exoplanets have been discovered around red dwarfs. Um, due to, I think, like, they're just a little bit easier to see because of the relative brightness of the star to planet ratio is, like, lower. I guess that's if you're using the, uh, like, the radial transit method where they measure the, uh, light emitted from the star and then when a planet passes in front of it, you can look at the spectra of light and determine that there's a planet, um, in that system. But a lot of these exoplanets that we've been discovering are, uh, hot Jupiters, which are basically giant gas giants kind of like Jupiter that orbit really close to their star and are like you know big and hot which is kind of like this one that we're going to and as I've been rambling about this I've set up our Sarnas transfer window if you have Kerbal Space Program just like stock as it is uh, the Cacao Below, uh, Planet Pack mod will put a wormhole around Jewel connecting this to the Cacao Below system but if you have Outer Planets mod installed, which is basically a stock-alike expansion or DLC almost to the original stock solar system in KSP that adds like a, a, a sorry, excuse me, a Saturn and like a Uranus and Neptune analog to the solar system, I highly recommend it. I play with it as if it's stock. But I have Outer Planets mod installed, so we're setting up our Sarnus transfer. Um, it's like maybe 15 to 20 degrees past 90 degrees as it's a, a little bit further out than Joule. And I'm just kind of doing my escape burn from the from Kerbin real quick, and then you'll be able to see uh, kind of like the process of getting an intercept to Sarnus here in just a second. So I gotta raise my apoapsis up to this. Uh, well, I've got it. It's like the yellow highlighted orbit above Jewel there. That's Sarnus, which. Um, like I said before, is the Saturn analog of the Kerbal system with, within the Outer Planets mod. When you have Outer Planets mod installed, the Cacao Below mod will place the wormhole around Sarnus. So that's why we are um, going to Sarnus real quick, so we can thread the needle through the wormhole and end up on the other side in the Cacao Below system. Looks like we had to do a little bit of a radial adjustment there, but we've got an encounter. Looks like I got my transfer window a little bit messed up. Um, Maybe I left a little bit earlier or late or whatever, but we can fix that with um, somewhat of a radial burn. Uh, we've got extra delta V, so it's fine. It's only an extra thousand. So I'll warp ahead to that maneuver. Then we'll do our course correction. And get that Sarnus encounter really quick. All right, looks like we got an intercept, um, and now we're going to adjust our flyby so that we actually just pass through the wormhole as the wormhole orbits around Sarnus. We don't actually have to circularize around it to um, enter it. All you have to do is pass through it with your periapsis below, I think, 30,000 meters. And so this is the um, Sarnus system. And the orbit that I've highlighted as my target, the yellow one, that's the wormhole orbit. It kind of orbits a little bit farther out. And so I'm just playing with the retrograde and uh, radial out or in um, nodes there. And you can get an intercept at your periapsis 
which I think is the probably the safest way to kind of like conserve the velocity that you want through the wormhole if you're just going to do this like thread the needle type maneuver. Um, looks like I overshot it a little bit there, but you can get a just like a nice little encounter flyby. You don't have to circularize and you will basically preserve your velocity even through the wormhole, even into the uh, the system on the other side of it. So I'm just going to adjust my flyby so that I can get that. Um, periaps is below 30,000 meters, which will enter the wormhole and uh, put me through to the other side. But I'm going to make sure my inclination is flat so I'm not going to be giving myself any weird inclination on the other side. Um, that looks good. I'm just going to warp ahead. There's the Sarna system uh, getting bigger in the background there. We'll be pulling up on the wormhole shortly. And after a quick um, adjustment, course correction, we'll be getting ready to enter. I think you can see it actually. There it is. Right, we're exiting the wormhole now and we've entered the Sun Orc system, which is one of three star systems that orbit the black hole Cacao Below in the Cacao Below planet pack. You can see that black hole in the distance there to the left, but this is the, let me see if I can just select the Cacao Below system. See this first star system here, this is the Sun Orc system. This planet that we have just entered the sphere of influence of is called Sera. It's kind of like Duna with rings almost. Um, but we're not going here, so we're going to leave this system, um, and just enter a solar orbit around Sun Orc, which is a little bit of a similar star to Kerbin, except I think it's, um, smaller by just a bit. Uh, yeah, it's got some interesting planets orbiting it. Um, we just attached our payload, um, fairing there. We're carrying three... Um, just kind of like research probes, kind of like the Voyager probes or something like that. I carried along an extra two in case I wanted to check out the Semet Symmetra system, which is a binary gas giant system in the outskirts of the Sun Orc system. But due to like my finals week, I'm just going to go to SETA for this first round with this probe here. Um, I've set it as my target. It's that gold orbit close to the star there. Um, and I'm just about to fire up my ion engines here on this probe so that we can start our inclination matching burn so that we can get our orbit nice and lined up with SETA. Um, yeah, it's kind of an interesting planet because uh, you usually don't see gas giants orbiting this close to their star. Um, so that's what makes kind of a hot Jupiter style planet interesting. I think we've found actually quite a bit of hot Jupiter exoplanets because they're so bright um, and large and close to their stars. It makes them easier to spot. Um, yeah, so that's kind of cool. About halfway done with our burn there. You know, these ion probes take a long time, so I've sped this footage up, I think, quite a bit. But we're just about done. Okay, we've got an intercept. We'll adjust our flyby later in a second, but here's our first look at SETA, which is like a hot Jupiter, as I've said before. Pretty cool. Um, just checking out how long it would take to do a capture burn, and I'm gonna warp ahead till I've entered its sphere of influence. And there it is. It's so big compared to the star next to it, which is kind of interesting. Um, Look at those clouds on the night side. I guess the planet's so hot that it's actually emitting its own glow um, from the clouds. That's pretty cool. And we're about to 
start our retrograde burn um, to capture around the planet. I just got to turn on this little light there real quick. Um, it's dark over here. But yeah, I think that glow from the night side of the planet is so cool. That's something you're not going to see anywhere else in Kerbal Space Program, especially not in a gas giant. So that's pretty cool. It's like, um, it's almost like a brown dwarf in and of itself, you know, just like a really, really dim star. I think hot Jupiters and brown dwarfs aren't too dissimilar from each other. In fact, the Cacabolo Planet Pack actually has a brown dwarf that orbits a little bit closer in towards the black hole that I will be trying to explore a little bit later on in the series, but it'll be interesting to compare this planet to that star. We've captured around the planet, and I'm just going to take in the views from this high elliptical orbit. Trying to get some nice screenshots too. Anyway, there's Seta, guys. See the black hole there in the distance? And that night side once again, pretty cool. All right, now we're just trying to turn our elliptical orbit into something more circular with another retrograde burn. We're actually gonna try to start our um, descent towards the atmosphere. We're gonna try to dip our probe into the atmosphere and eventually crash it in and we're going to try to do some experiments when we get a little bit closer i think that'll be a nice little way to end the video but we're getting our first view of the clouds up close looks kind of fuzzy like a wool coat almost looks like our periapsis wasn't quite low enough on that pass so we're going to do another retrograde burn to lower it even more. Cool, it should be, should be low enough this time, yeah. And so this is our final orbit before we crash. Well, we don't crash quite yet, but we're gonna enter the atmosphere of the planet and once we do, there'll be no escape. We're gonna start our science, um, checking it out. And then we're gonna start closing our um, our antennas, our boom uh, boom arm, and our uh, our solar panels. And we're gonna detach the core of our probe and and deploy our parachutes. And we're gonna start kind of a long descent until the crushing pressure of the atmosphere destroys our probe but hopefully we can get some cool views um and maybe i don't know i don't have science mode turned on but in, in you know in like my head cannon or whatever i'm doing some cool science here as i go deeper into the clouds of seda
But yeah, as our last shoots have deployed and we uh, kind of start to enter the real thick parts of the atmosphere where our probe will be crushed very shortly, I just want to say thanks guys for watching and subscribing to my channel. Uh, yeah, please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And check out my other videos. I've got, I feel like, a really cool um, little series of almost tutorials on how to get into the Cacao Below Planet Pack using stock parts in the wormhole. But yeah, I got some cool stuff coming up. Oh, we just exploded there. But yeah, cool stuff coming up. See ya.